from Play to Learn Preschool. I am so glad that you are here for another day of virtual preschool with me. While we wait for all of the friends to log on and join us, let's sing Everybody Clap with our friend, Miss Nancy. I'll put up the video and then we can all clap and sing together. Here goes. This is Everybody Clap from The Seasons. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. And everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. And everybody go peek a boo. 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 And everybody go side to side. 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 And everybody go one, two, three. Woo! Go one, two, three. Woo! Go one, two, three. Woo! Go one, two, three, woo! And clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Thank you so much for singing with us, Miss Nancy. We love your music. Boys and girls, should we wake up Betsy? She's asleep behind the easel. But I know if I count to three and you say, Betsy, where are you? That she'll come out. Are you ready? Here goes. One, two, three. Say, Betsy, where are you? I think she's back there. Hello, boys and girls. We're so glad to see you today. Betsy and I are going to sing hello to you, and then you can sing hello to us. Does that sound good? Here goes. Hello, friends. How are you? Will you sing hello, Betsy? Hello, Betsy. How are you? And can you sing hello, Miss Jamie? Hello, Miss Jamie. How are you? We're so glad to see you. Tap on your knees. Here, here, we're all here, 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 we're all here, 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 we're all here, we're all here together. Yay! Betsy's so happy that we're learning about something really neat today. I'm going to put you down, Betsy, so I can talk to the boys and girls, but we'll get her out again at the end, okay? All week during virtual preschool, we've been talking about habitats. Can you say that big word? Say habitat. Mm -hmm. A habitat is a place where animals and plants live. We learned about the savanna, where the elephants and giraffes live. We talked about the jungle, where the monkeys and the sloths live. We learned about the forest, where there's deer and bears. Yes, we even talked about the polar habitat where the penguins and polar bears live. And my computer kept freezing up from all the talk about the cold. Today, we're going to learn about our fifth habitat. And can you guess what it is? This habitat is the ocean. Yes, lots of animals and plants live in the ocean. Have you ever been to see the ocean? Ever taken a trip or a vacation to the beach? 
just see the ocean, you can hear the waves go whoosh, whoosh. There are so many fascinating animals that live underwater. Can you name some of the animals you might see in the ocean? Tell me, what do you see? What might be under the water in the ocean? Do you know any of them? What is this one? This is a whale. It's called an orca whale. It's not a fish. It's actually a mammal. It has to breathe air up at the surface of the ocean. So you might see it jumping. Yes, whales live in the ocean. Good. Let's see what else lives in the hmm, ocean. This is a good one. I see lots of you saying this one. It's a doo -doo, doo -doo. a shark. Yes, a shark is a fish. It doesn't have to breathe the air, but it still swims sometimes up at the top and you can see its fin right up at the top. The shark is another animal that lives in the ocean. Good. We have whales and sharks. Do you know any others? You were right, yes. Here's another one. It's like Nemo, right? This is a clownfish. There's lots of different kinds of fish that live in the ocean. This one is called a clownfish. Yes, the clownfish lives in the ocean. My pictures are not sticking to the, oh, that one is gonna stick. Maybe they will stick to the board, hold on. They might, yeah, they're not really sticking to the board today. Let's see another animal that lives in the ocean. Do you know this one? Its name is like a shape. It's a starfish and it scuttles along on the bottom of the ocean. Let's see if it will stick. Nope, I'm gonna have to put them at the bottom. The starfish lives in the ocean and I have pictures of two more. Do you know what this flat animal is called? It's really flat and it goes along the bottom of the ocean almost like a wave. It has a long tail with a stinger on it. Do you know the name of this one? It's a manta ray or a stingray and it lives in the ocean. You're right, Grace. And there's also crabs. You're right, and octopuses. I see all your guesses. Jellyfish live in the ocean. And I have a picture of one more. Do you know the name of this one? Yes, it's a sea turtle. Sea turtles live in the ocean. One time I was visiting the ocean on vacation and I was using a snorkel, which is like a, like a straw you put in your mouth so that, that I could breathe air. And I was snorkeling around in the ocean looking for fish. And guess what I saw? It was a sea turtle. It was a wonderful day. I can still remember seeing that sea turtle swimming in the ocean. Lots of different animals live in the ocean, but most of them, or lots of them, are fish. So we're going to sing a little song about some fish who live in the ocean. This is my pretend fish tank. It doesn't have water in it, but I did put some fish tank rocks. And what we're going to do is pull out a fish and you're going to tell me the color and then we're going to sing a little song about the fish. I think I might start with my favorite fish. Hold on, let me get him out here. Here he comes. <gasps> what fish is this? What color is it? It's purple. You're right. And the song we're going to sing goes like this. The little purple fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. The little purple fish is swimming in the ocean. And then make your hands go like this. Bubble, 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 pop. Can you do that? I'm going to put the purple fish right up there. Bubble, 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 pop. Good. Let's do another one. Which color fish should we get out of the fish tank here? How about this one? Let me see if I can pick him up. It is a yellow fish. Good. Will you sing with me? The little yellow fish is swimming in the ocean. 
swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. The little yellow fish is swimming in the ocean. Bubble, 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 pop. Good, I like the way you're singing. Corey, you want the pink one? I can get the pink one out for you, sweet friend. All right, let's see if I can get it on my finger. Yes, here comes the next fish. Pink, yes, let's sing, ready? The little pink fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. The little pink fish is swimming in the ocean. Bubble, 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 pop. Good. Which color fish should we get out next? Hmm, let's see. Ooh, how about this one? I know lots of people, this is your favorite color. It is a blue fish. Good, will you sing with me? The little blue fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. The little blue fish is swimming in the ocean. Get ready. Bubble, 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 pop. Good, I know, lots of people like the blue fish. Which color should we pick next? Hmm, I saw Aubrey and Jessica and lots of friends want this one. Let me pull it out. Ooh, bubble, 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 pop. You're right. Let's see. Austin, you'd like this one? Oh, it's the red fish. Good. Can you sing red fish with me? The little red fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. Swimming in the ocean, the little red fish is swimming in the ocean. Bubble, 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 pop. Good, I see you. Lots of people would like the green fish. I hear you. Sydney says green, Nora says green. Lots of people want green. Let me see if I can get the green one to come on out here. Oh, there he is. Reet wants green. You've got it. Here goes. The little green fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. The little green fish is swimming in the ocean. You say it. Bubble, 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 pop. Good singing. Let's do two more. I've got orange and gold and brown and gray and black and white. Which fish should we pick? How about this one? He's going to show up really nice on our board. This is the white. Matthew will get it next, okay? The little white fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. The little white fish is swimming in the ocean. Bubble, 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 pop! Good. Lots of people want the orange fish next. We can do the orange one. Let me get him ready here. Come on, little orange fish. I think I've got him. Ready? Oh, there he is. The little orange fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. The little orange fish is swimming in the ocean. Make your hands do it. Bubble, 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 pop. Good. Would you like to keep going? So many people are still shouting out their colors, and I can hear you. Lots of people say black. Okay, we can do black. We can do it. We've got time on this last Friday video. Oh, look at him. He's black with a white eye. Can you sing with me? Here goes. The little black fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. The little black fish is swimming in the ocean. Bubble, 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 pop. Good. Oh, good job, friends. We have some, there's three more swimming in my fish bowl here. Would you like to pick another one? I hear you all saying gold. Okay, we can do gold. We can do it. This one we're going to say the little gold fish. Let's see if I can get them on here. Come here, little gold fish. Ooh, little gold fish. I think you got them ready. The little gold fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, 
swimming in the ocean. This is for you, Gus and Kalia. The little goldfish is swimming in the ocean. Bubble, 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 bop. Good. We'll put him down here next to the orange fish. The orange fish and the goldfish can swim together. There are two more. There is a brown fish and a gray fish. Should we pick one of these? We can finish the song off today. Let's do gray. This one almost looks like a little shark, doesn't it? Yes. All right, Grant, Grant, Gray, you've got it. Here goes. The little gray fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. The little gray fish is swimming in the ocean. Bubble, 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 pop. Good. Okay. You got it, Gianni. Here's the last fish. It's the last one. You have to sing it with me. Ready? You've got it, Brianna, Madeline, Jared. Here goes. The last fish in the fishbowl is the... Yes! The little brown fish. Will you sing it with me? Really loud, because this is the last fish out of the fishbowl, Julian. Ready? Here goes. The little brown fish is swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, Swimming in the ocean, the little brown fish is swimming in the ocean. Bubble, 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 pop! Good! We'll put him right down there. There are all of our fish out of the fishbowl. I loved singing that song with you. You did a nice job saying all of those words. Would you like to play a little game with some ocean animals? For this little game, we are going to look at some different colored ocean animals. Ricky, you can definitely get a shout out. Here goes. This is an orange fish. Yep. And this one is an orange dolphin. Good. Here we have an orange jellyfish and an orange crab. That's the book we're going to read about a crab today. And we have all of the same pictures in blue. So this is a blue fish and a blue dolphin. Good. And a blue jellyfish. Nice. And a blue crab. Good. And the next pictures are yellow. Can you say them? Say yellow fish, yellow dolphin, yellow jellyfish, and yellow crab. Good. I have the pictures in pink too. It's a pink fish and a pink dolphin. Good. Do you see the pattern? And a pink jellyfish and a pink crab. Well done, and I also have them in green. Let's see, can you see that? Yes, okay. It's a green fish and a green dolphin and a green jellyfish and a green crab. Now, your brain has to be sort of turned on high power. Get your thinking cap out. Make it on high power. Click, click, click. Because we have to look at these pictures and try to think of the pattern. All of the pictures in the row are the same color. These are all orange, all blue, all yellow, all pink, and all green. And then our brains have to really think hard and look up and down. All of the ones in this column are fish. All of the pictures in this column are dolphins. This column is full of jellyfish and the last one is full of crab. So now if I take one away, then you have to turn on your thinking cap and try to figure out which one is missing. Ready? One of the pictures is missing. Which one can it be? Look and think. Tell me what you see. Which picture is missing? Hmm, which 
which one? Do you know what color it is? Yes, it's blue. And if you look up and down, can you figure out which picture it is? Grady and Julia know, Juliet knows, Brooklyn knows, Ruby knows, Evie, Aria, Ezra. You're right, it was the blue jellyfish. Mm, brain, good thinking. Okay, let's take another one away and see if you can figure out which one is missing. One of the pictures is missing. Which one can it be? Look and think. Tell me what you see. Which picture is missing from our chart, from our board? First, think about what color it is. So which one is missing in this row? Yep, it's a pink one. And then look up and down. And which picture is missing now? You're right. Oh, I hear you all yelling. Hunter, I hear you, and Andrew, and Hannah, and Gianna, and Reet, and Matthew, and Aubrey, and Braylon, and Leighton, and Juliet. I hear you all yelling, pink fish. Yes, it was the pink fish that was missing. Ooh, you're good at that. Should we try another one? Okay, I'm gonna take it away. Your brains are really turning on the thinking power today. One of these is missing. Which one can it be? Look and think. Tell me what you see. Which picture is missing? Think first what color it is. So look, which one is missing? Oh, it's one of the orange ones. You're right. And then look up and down and see if you can figure out which spot is missing here. It's the, Devin knows, Allie knows, and Merrick knows, Raiden knows, it's the orange dolphin. You're right, Austin and Emily, you are right. Jack, I hear you, nice job. Last one before we read our story. Hmm. I'm gonna take away a hard one, see if you can figure it out. One of these is missing. Which one can it be? Look and think. Tell me what you see. Which picture is missing? It's a tricky one way down in the bottom. <gasps> yes, it is green. You're right, and can you figure out what the picture is? It is the green crab. Rosie, you were right. Yes. Sydney, you were right, Sophia and Cora and Gabriel. You were right, it was the green crab. Wow, you're so good at noticing the patterns and then figuring out the spot where they meet and which one is missing. Give your brain a kiss. Oh, brain, that was so smart. We're actually gonna read a story about a crab today. It's one of my very favorite stories. This is a story about Clumsy crab. Do you know what the word clumsy means? Can you say it? It's kind of a funny word. Say clumsy. clumsy. Clumsy means if you trip and fall a lot and you're always um, sort of getting tangled up in things. That means that you're a little clumsy. Can you say it again? Clumsy. Yes, Jeremiah, clumsy. And this book is by Ruth Galloway. And Ruth Galloway is the author. She wrote the words and the illustrator. She also did the pictures. And it's about a little crab who lives in the ocean and he is clumsy. Poor Trevor is clumsy. Sometimes Miss Jamie is clumsy too. Look at all the pictures of the animals that live in the ocean. Do you see clumsy crab right there? Yes. Let's read to find out what happens to poor clumsy crab. Here's the title page, Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway. Nipper the crab hated his huge, clumsy claws. Snip, snap, clip, clap. No matter how hard he tried, they always got in the way. Poor Nipper. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles like octopus or jellyfish or flippity fins like turtle or fish. Poor Nipper with his big clumsy claws. One day, Nipper was playing catch the bubble with his friends. Do you see how the turtle is blowing bubbles and they're all trying to catch it? Pop! His clumsy claws 
burst the bubble. See, pop. He couldn't play that game anymore, so they decided to play tag instead. Nipper scuttled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. Whoa! Nipper slipped and stumbled, tripped and tumbled until he was buried up to his eyes in sand. Turtle came to dig him out. Everyone decided to play hide and seek. Nipper climbed into a big clamshell and pulled it shut. What's gonna happen here? It was the perfect hiding place until smash. Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell into hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch, he cried. Help! Jellyfish picked up the pieces of shell. If I didn't have these clumsy claws, I wouldn't break everything and I'd be good at hide and seek, said Nipper. Don't worry, Nipper, said the others. We'll hide and you can find us. His friends are so kind, thinking of other ways they can play with him. Nipper counted to ten, then set off to find his friends. He scuttled through the sand and found Turtle. He scuttled under the shells and found Jellyfish. And he searched up and down, in and out, and all around the rocks, but he couldn't find Octopus anywhere. Where could Octopus be? Hmm. Suddenly, everyone heard a cry. Octopus was tangled up tightly in some seaweed. Look, he's yelling, help! Octopus squirmed and squiggled and wriggled and jiggled. Turtle and jellyfish tried to help, but the knots just got tighter and tighter. Nipper had an idea. Nipper snipped at the seaweed with his claws. Faster and faster, Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed, snipping and snapping, clipping and clapping. His claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing, until the sea was filled with tiny pieces of swirling seaweed. What happened? His little clumsy claws or big clumsy claws came in handy to help his friend. Octopus was finally free. Thank you, Nipper. You're a clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last, he knew how useful they could be. Isn't that nice how they all played together? And it came in handy. His clumsy claws came in really handy for cutting the seaweed when poor Octopus got caught. I have an ocean project for you to try at home today. This ocean project is super simple and you can do it with whatever materials you have at home. Let me tip it down so you can see. So for this project, we are gonna pretend like we're painting or you could use crayons or markers or whatever you have, the ocean. So I picked out some blue paint. You can use markers or whatever you have. And I'm going to pretend like I'm painting the ocean. I'm going to make some waves and I might make some bubbles all over my paper, just like I'm painting the ocean. I might use a different color blue too. And then when the paint, paint is all dry, I cut some little bitty fish out of colored construction paper. Do you see this? They remind me of the song. The little yellow fish was swimming in the ocean. Just like that. And so I cut out lots of tiny little fish and I'm going to glue them down to my paper. I'll put some glue on it later when the paint is dry. I'm gonna make a whole ocean picture by gluing the colorful fish down to my blue paint. Let's see if it'll stick just with the wet paint. Like that. Do you think you could make an ocean picture and paint it all blue or color it all blue and then put some little colorful fish right in your ocean? 
to make your own ocean picture. Believe it or not, it is time for us to say goodbye. It has been so much fun spending these days with you doing virtual preschool. If I count to three, will you call Betsy to come back and we'll get her out and she can sing a nice goodbye? Here goes. One, two, three. Say, Betsy, come back. Oh, she's here on my lap. <laughs> Silly Betsy, you are hiding from me. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for coming to virtual preschool with us today. We love learning about all of the ocean habitat animals. It is time for us to sing goodbye. And then maybe you can throw some bird seed for Betsy. Here goes. Preschool time is over now, over now, over now. Preschool time is over now for another day. Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends, all of our friends. Wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to stay home and play. Hip, hip, hooray! Yay! Oh, wait, reach down into your pocket. Do you have a little treat for Betsy? Maybe some bird seed? or some goldfish crumbs, she likes goldfish too. And grown-ups, today I actually have two announcements for you. The first is, today is our last day of spring virtual preschool. We will be playing some of your favorites on syndication next week at 11 o'clock each day. And we invite you to register for summer virtual preschool. Summer virtual preschool starts on June 1st. We're gonna learn about oceans some more, insects, feelings, pets, summer, dinosaurs, ponds, food, transportation, all kinds of fun things during summer virtual preschool. So it's 10 weeks, June, July, and August, where you can do virtual preschool with Betsy and me all summer long. And always remember that you can print your play pack. The link is in the video description. It has six ideas for you to enrich and extend the play at home with your little one and four printable pages where they can practice writing their name, letters, numbers, fine motor, coloring, and more. So we hope to see you for summer virtual preschool. In the meantime, Betsy's gonna need some extra bird seed today because she's gonna have to save some for later. Ready? One, two, three. Can you throw her some bird seed? Oh, oh there's extra. Oh. Thank you, boys and girls. That was so kind. And Betsy's going to blow you a kiss. Here it comes. Did you catch it? Stick it to your cheek, put some extra glue so it stays all weekend, and give yourself a big hug from Miss Jamie and Betsy. We are proud of you, and we will see you again soon. Bye, friends. Bye-bye.